welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated makeup collection video and let me know what you guys think of this lipstick. It's Saint Germain by MAC. I bought it a while ago and I have yet to wear it like out in public or even in a video I think um, just because I'm not sure like how it looks on me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I figured well I'm only filming an intro so you don't have to stare at my lips like the whole time. But yeah so just let me know what you guys think if you will. But yeah I'm going to be doing an updated makeup collection video which I haven't done a makeup collection video. For, oh, I don't even remember the last time I did one. It was, I only have one other one up on my channel. If I, um, I'll like go through my videos and I'll link that one down below. Like, started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> like, for real, super excited about the transformation my collection has made. Um, but I do want to obviously throw in a little disclaimer. Um, I bought everything with my own money. I bought the drawers, the decorations, the makeup inside of it all by myself. Um, and... I have a job, I work, and I pay for everything on my own. This isn't me trying to brag, so please don't take it that way. I'm literally just, I really love watching these videos, and I love finding other ways to organize my stuff. Like, I used to be obsessed with these videos, um, and I figured my video might be able to help somebody else out there. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you so much for watching, and let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to go over what's on top of my drawers first. As you can see me in the background, hello. Um, but yeah, I have this little four set of mirrors, which I got from Ikea. Um, and then what's on top here, I have this little jewelry organizer, except it's like not so organized. Um, I have I got this from like for my birthday a couple of years ago. My parents got it for me. Um, and then this, I actually DIY'd a wine bottle. And then I just bought some flowers and put that shindig together. And then over here um, on this little tray, which I think, this is from Home Goods. I got it on clearance. Um, and then I have my lipstick holder, which holds all of my MAC lipsticks, and then my one YSL lipstick. Um, and then I have a little candle holder, which I think is from Hobby Lobby, and then a Bath and Body Works candle. Alrighty, so getting into the first drawer. This drawer is basically primers, powders, and concealers. So over here on the right, and all of these containers I actually just pulled from my old drawer set. So if you've seen my old makeup collection video, um, those like, so I think there's like five drawers in them that you can get from Walmart. I just pulled the drawers out and put them in here because um, I, I was impatient. I wanted to get all of my makeup organized and in the new drawer set. So I just used those. But um, basically over here I have primers, just a ton of like random primers, some lip balms, and like little makeup samples. Um, in this little section right here, I had it kind of separated from like my high-end stuff and then my like drugstore stuff. But this is kind of just turned into what I reach for basically. So these are just like my most used like face products. Um, my favorite obviously being the CC Plus Cream from It Cosmetics. Over here I have my powders, which guys, I'm so proud of myself. Look at this. I hit pan on two powders. This one was like my favorite forever, and then I started using the Stay Matte Powder, and I hit pan on that. So super excited about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so these are just all of my face powders. I have CoverGirl, Physicians Formula, MAC, which is like one of like the first makeup products I think I ever bought, like high-end makeup products anyway. Um, and then back here is just like my concealers. Um, I have anything and everything of high-end, low-end, and just everything in between so tons of that and then back here I have just more drugstore foundations um, those I don't generally reach for too often and then same thing with this one this one's just kind of like overflow of just things I just don't reach for and I've kind of forgotten about um, I really need to go through and like pick and choose like what I want in here because I have way too much makeup. Right, so on to the second drawer. This one's probably my favorite. This is all of my cheek products which I I have way too many. Oh my gosh, this is like embarrassing. Um, but over here, starting from the left, I basically have like drugstore, like into high end stuff. So I have Milani, lots of Milani. I have Physicians Formula. Um, these are really cool ones from Hard Candy. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet at um, Walmart or not. Ooh, there we go. They're like ombre. My lighting's a little weird, but they're like ombre. They're so freaking pretty, and I'm obsessed with them. Um, and then I have my Park Avenue Princess palette, which I'm obsessed with. I have a bunch of NYX blushes. Revlon um, and then this drawer back here is basically like the top one this is just like overflow of things that I just haven't used in a while um, that I really probably should go through 
And then this little compact thing. Um, so as the, these are the same drawers as before, but this little um, divider is from Walmart. And then these are also from Walmart as well, which you can find in like the kitchen section. But I have this split up. This is like mainly highlighters and bronzers, like this whole thing. So I have my all-time favorite Physicians Formula Nude Palette. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, which is a huge favorite of mine. I also have the cream version of that. And then I have some MAC highlighters and powders and bronzers. And then my Too Faced bronzers and stuff like that. And then I have my Benefit box powders, which I'm obsessed with. I have my NYX contour blush, or the blush that I use to contour. Um, and then just some more blushes. I have Hourglass, the Balm, Tarte, um, ColourPop. And then these, I have a couple Clinique blushes down here in the corner. All of my MAC blushes, which I used to be so obsessed with. I mean, I still love them. I still use them, but... They're just sitting right here, and then I have my two lonely little NARS blushes back there. Okay, so now for the third drawer. This is basically all of my eye stuff. So in this little container right here is just a bunch of single eyeshadows. I have Milani, MAC, Maybelline, L'Oreal, NYX all my single eyeshadows and then back there I have my ColourPop single eyeshadows because they weren't going to fit in here but basically that container is just cream shadows so I have the Revlon ones back there and I have a bunch of the Maybelline color tattoos and then the center one right here is mascaras so all of my mascaras are in there but this drawer back here is all of my eye primers so I have eye bases and stuff so I have the NYX jumbo pencils I have a Smashbox primer I have the Urban Decay primer potions and then this drawer right here has all of my well, this is kind of random. I have like lashes that I've been using recently. I have brow products, eyelash curler, tools. I mean, just a bunch of random stuff in here. And there's a little drawer that you can barely see right back there. And it just has all of my like drugstore eyeshadow palettes because I don't have a ton of them, but they are chilling back there. So the fourth drawer is probably my second, it's like a close tie with my cheek drawer, I like for being my favorite. This is my lip drawer, as you can probably tell. I have random lashes and an unopened Nivea lip butter over there, but this drawer isn't as organized as I'd like it to be. I just don't know how to do it because there's so much product in here. Um, I just have not figured out an efficient way to organize it. So if you guys have any ideas or recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it. Or like links to other videos that I just haven't found because trust me girl I have looked it up I have been trying my hardest because this really just really just I'm not cool with it <laughs> so in this little drawer which these little containers came from one of my other drawer sets that I got from Amazon I think um, but yeah so I just took the drawers out of that drawer set and used it for my lip products so right here as you can see I just have my lip liners and then back there are like lip glosses um, and I have Buxom and the CoverGirl ones which I'm still super obsessed with and some whitening lightning or Gerard cosmetics or whatever they go by I have those back there um, in this center one is like probably like my favorite lip products so I have like my Anastasia liquid lipsticks it's like basically liquid lipsticks or like chubby pencils or like pencil or like lip products in the form of pencils but this is my most used drawer and it's a mess um and then back there I have like drugstore lip products and lipsticks um just random all different kinds of brands back there L'Oreal, Milani, NYX, Wet n Wild um I have the baby lips I have Maybelline and then that drawer back there is, um, which you can barely see, I'm sorry, this is all NYX products. Um, love that. I have all the soft matte lip cream, well not all of them, but I have soft matte lip creams, the butter glosses, butter lipsticks, NYX lip products, chilling back there. And then actually over here is where I keep like all of my like lipsticks from the drugstore. Like this is kind of just like assorted like random stuff that I don't reach for too too often. But these are all of my drugstore lipsticks. Let me see if I can turn you. There we go. So yeah, I just have all of them lined up so that I can see the colors. I feel like that just works best. I have some high end ones like mixed in there um, from like Too Faced and Smashbox. But yeah, this is my lip drawer. All right, so this fifth drawer is all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I have a lot. I guess I just didn't realize like how many I've like collected over time. I have two from Tarte, um, I think these were like limited editions, um, and then I have one from the Sephora collection, um, this is the Jasmine collection that they did. I have a Z palette underneath that NARS one right there which has some Makeup Geek eyeshadows in it, and then I have the NYS, NYS? The NARS Guy Bourdain palette, which is like a blush palette. I have my Anastasia contour kit, absolutely obsessed. As you can see in the back, I have all the Naked palettes, and then I have a MAC, or a couple MAC palettes. And then I have the Smashbox, oh, goodness, my voice. I have the Smashbox one, and then I actually have um, both Lorac palettes, which I really need to, like, seriously go through these and, like, figure out 
what I want to keep and what I should give to like friends and family because I just don't need all of this eyeshadow. Um, but I have those. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes. And then I have a couple palettes from The Balm. I really hope my head wasn't just blocking the light because I couldn't see the camera. But yeah, basically these are just all of my eyeshadow and face and cheek palettes. That last drawer down there is so unorganized, so I'm not even going to bother showing you guys. But now I'm going to go ahead and give you a little tour of my vanity. So this is the top of my vanity. I'm not sure where my stepmom got it, but she got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. So I've had it for a while, and I do plan on replacing it with something from Ikea because this one's just like so itty bitty <laughs> and I would like to have like more like desktop room and stuff but anyways over here to the left I have a little like candle jar and it has like my moisturizer my Mac Fix Plus and makeup remover um you kind of can't see it I'm trying to see if the lighting will change but I have little q-tips and then lip balm and these drawers don't really have like anything in them they're just kind of hanging out there and then this little candle jar over here has like my beauty blender a comb a clip for my hair and some more lip balm and then I have all of my contact solution and eye stuff right here and then on top here I have my makeup brushes and I have like Sigma mainly crown brush and real techniques some elf brushes as you can see but yeah so just all of my makeup brushes are chilling there the mirror is from it's by Conair I think I got it at Ulta like a couple years ago and then this little drawer right here basically just holds like my combs dry shampoo and makeup remover I get a lot of questions about like what lighting I use and I try to explain to everybody it's just one of those five headed lights that you can get at Walmart so I'm gonna try and insert like you oh my gosh you can't even see the light bulb that's crazy um but yeah this is the lighting that I use I just took the little like cones off of them and then I just bought these really bright um, like daylight um, light bulbs from Target like a long time ago they've lasted a really long time and apparently the lighting's working out pretty well for me so that is just what I use for lighting and then the chair that I was sitting in that goes to my vanity is actually from Ikea as well and honestly guys if you have an Ikea next to you I definitely recommend going because I know you see these drawer sets everywhere and I honestly thought they were gonna be like super expensive and super difficult to like put together but that's not the case at all they are super inexpensive like I honestly could not believe it um, and then they were really easy to put together I just had a friend help me you might need another person because I, I mean I'm not very good at like building but um, it got put together I love it so much it looks so much better than my last setup so yeah that is actually it for my makeup slash like vanity tour I guess I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys when I met you in the summer